what is up youtube it's your girl creole barbie with creole barbie tv welcome back to my channel the best feeling for me as being a content creator for usps videos is no more excuses i did a video a while back stating why i don't get a usps have you ever dated anyone at the post office yeah, I did. I did it one of my supervisors. No, and no, uh, no. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> if you're not familiar with me and what I do here on my channel, please be sure to check out my USPS playlist where I give you a great deal of insight on what to expect when the postal service how to apply with the post office, what to expect within your 90 days, how to read your paycheck stubs and more. Be sure to check out my USPS playlist where I give you a great deal of insight on what to expect when joining the postal service. So without further ado, please allow me to get into my video. I know I have not been posting quite frequently, you guys. However, your girl is back, okay? And some of the things that I want to share with you guys is that as I was scrolling in the comments, I actually saw really, really good questions. And one of the questions that were asked is about a lot of people that were applying for seasonal positions and they ended up getting hired, getting hired as seasonal workers that were laid off due to lack of work. And they actually worked those seasonal positions. However, they were let go due to lack of work. So in case you run into this problem, because I know there were a lot of people this year that was actually working in the COVID testing units where they were actually putting together the COVID test kits and shipping them to wherever they needed to go. So without further ado, I'm going to give you guys my timeline experience on the hiring process for myself when being brought back due to lack of work. Yes, I received it. I myself has gotten a lack of work letter. What is a lack of work letter? A lack of work letter is something that they will give you if you were a seasonal employee or was working under a certain amount of time, okay? Now, a PSC 360 will not receive a lack of work letter just for a five-day break. They're generally just going on a five-day break and then being reappointed back to another 360 days. However, if you were working under a temporary basis, such as a holiday season or COVID test season and things of that nature or any other type of temporary assignment that may put you under once that assignment is finished, they will give you a lack of work letter, meaning saying that you're being now separated from the postal service, you're um, free to apply if you would like to, or you are free to being brought back. Now, typically, I ask these questions when I'm applying for these certain positions. Number one, do I have to reapply back or am I going to get brought back? Now, one of the things for myself was I was actually brought back, okay? So from being a seasonal worker, I was brought back to being a PSC 360, okay? That's the Postal Support Employee. And they work 360 days and they have a five day break. After the five days, they are reappointed back with the Postal Service to another 360 days. Now, this position will actually turn into being a career position, okay? So, that's just to summarize it all up, you guys. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and give you the timeline and the breakdown of what I experienced. That way, you can kind of see for yourself exactly around what time and things like that. I'm also going to give you some great tips that you can use during this time phase of your life. Therefore, you don't have to worry, okay? So, be sure to sit down, take some notes. Hey, we're on YouTube. So if you need to, you can rewind 
okay you can definitely rewind the video to get the information that you need out of this video so let's get into it okay you guys so as you can see here this is my actual termination lack of work letter all right this goes into my official document where i can actually go back and see my last day working for the post office on a temporary basis i do remember where um the supervisor came up to us gave us this lack of work letter also asked for our badges back as we were being escorted out when the shift was over now that happened january the 4th was my last day when i was laid off due to lack of work however um, I was brought back April the 11th, okay? So the same year, from January 3rd to April the 11th, I was brought back. This time, I was emailed by my HR coordinator, and she informed me prior to leaving, once I was gone, I did email my HR coordinator to ask her what number was I? So number as in seniority because you're brought back based on your seniority. She did inform me I was number nine. So I was happy about that because I ranked pretty high when being brought back in placement. So I was super excited. April the 11th was my first day as a PSC 360. So really from January to April, that wasn't much of a wait, right? So what I do encourage a lot of you guys to do is email your HR coordinator. Those are the ones that set you up in your orientation and ask them, hey, where am I at as far as seniority goes? What number am I to being brought back on a 360 basis? Definitely ask them that, especially if they inform you guys that you will be brought back on a rehiring basis as needed and you'll be contacted. Definitely make sure you ask them that prior to leaving now if they don't say anything about you guys being re brought back ask them will i have to reapply or will i have to wait until you guys contact me to be brought back okay so you can actually get back in the door of working as a psc 360 which will lead up into career so you guys this is pretty much the end of this video in terms of my experience as being brought back as a 360 after being let go due to lack of work i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm out